What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, a short episode, we spent some time at the Stray Sheep and then completed the first stage of this night. And now we have, well, we found ourselves another landing and we have some sheep to chat with, so let's go ahead and do that. Questions we're being asked in the confession are supposed to judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. These questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. How have you been answering? So, interesting, because... You've definitely probably noticed, definitely probably, wow, <laughs> nice nice words, Nick. Um, you've probably noticed that a lot of times I'm like, oh, is that the right answer? Is that gonna like comfort them? Or or what are my expectations, right? Specifically with the confessional questions, I've been more honest than anything, but there is certainly a tension between picking an answer that is honest and will thus lead to an ending that's reflective of your own personality versus picking what you think sounds right based on what direction the game is kind of nudging you in, right? I think, how have I been answering them? I think for the confessional questions, I've been answering honestly. I didn't know if I was lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic or praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. Well, I don't really think that's the right answer, but... I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? <laughs> if only it were that easy. If only. Anna, I climb and climb. I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. It's the only chance I have left. Oh, well, it certainly doesn't sound like Daniel. Obviously, the sheep with sunglasses here is not doing so hot. True freedom. It's the only chance I have left. Yeah, I mean, we're aiming for true freedom, too. We'll definitely do what we can to get you there as well. That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? That doesn't sound like a good situation. I mean, too. I mean, she asked me first. I can't believe this is happening to me. Hmm, she asked me first. What does that mean? I'm having a tough time fitting that into the picture of him cheating on her. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. The nah, I don't need it. Huh? Nah, I don't need it. <laughs> Again, just talking for the sake of continuing to talk, but never really intending to buy. Damn it! There are less of us now. I won't lose. I'll climb for them too. Yeah, power of friendship. But yeah, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but our friend Todd is not here. The sheep with the regent hair. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're safe. We're almost halfway there. I feel like we can make it if we keep sticking together and talk things through. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the power of friendship. Uh, learning techniques. Climbing like there's no tomorrow. Is there really any meaning to life? Did you know this? Male bees effectively eviscerate themselves when mating with a queen bee. Male praying mantises approach females knowing that they'll be eaten. Are you trying to say that men only exist just to have sex? That's stupid. Brainy talk. From a human's point of view, it might be pathetic, but the animal kingdom has its own way of saying things. Huh? He's trying to say that what you live for is all up to you. Smart guys have their own ways to cheer you up. <laughs> This is, uh, yeah, smart guys have their own ways to cheer you up. That was a pretty roundabout way of doing so, Justin. Our sheep mm. with the glasses, who's indicated his reporter and consistently says it's the truth. But part of what's interesting is I think I did a Zero Thought video, maybe like seven or eight years ago at this point, that talked about meaning its potential existence. Mm. And I pretty much came to the same conclusion that a lot of it's dependent on what you make of it. I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Oh yeah, let's let's do it. Let's work together and get out of Let's share those techniques. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain timber. I think we did a little bit of this if before as well. An entire wall. Leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then push the supporting block, and the wall will all fall down in one piece. Don't you think it's useful? Yeah, absolutely. I just had an idea. You think of this. Allow me to explain controlled explosions. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. But dark blocks can never become cracked. So use this property to make 
And so you can see in the example there, there's a cracked block that needs to be broken and the sheep can't actually get past it, but uses the bomb in its proximity to that cracked block in order to get rid of it. That's just inspired. What a great idea. Oh man, I wish I'd thought of that. Not bad. Nice. And yeah, I'm not as skilled when it comes to the bomb blocks, so we'll see what we can do. What is that? Is anyone coming up with these stupid questions? Again, we can take a look at this sort of shadow from the outside of the confessional. I didn't even realize we could observe that. Here I am. You in there, buddy? We can talk once you sit down. <laughs> I love that Vincent's just so, like, comfortable with the whole situation. He's like, you in there, buddy? <sighs> the mysterious voice is so done with him. This is the clock tower. The sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. What would you do if you found out that your significant other was cheating on you? <laughs> hmm. So our options are break up with them or make them end it. W which one? I mean, honestly, I think the real answer is somewhere in between, right? Where you say, you sit down, you talk about it, and you try to figure out why it happened, right? Was it something that you had been... I, I still would say even if... I know in a previous question I mentioned that I can understand cheating in the context of a really poor relationship that you feel like you can't escape or whatnot. Um, Which one? But if if you're contributing to that and pushing your partner to cheat, there's some work that you could Which do one? in that regard. Granted, it's not all one person's fault, right? It's always the person who cheats decision to cheat in that know. situation. I think if I had to choose between the two of these, I would end up going with closer to breaking up with them because clearly the relationship is dysfunctional and to the point of cheating is likely beyond that of repair not necessarily but likely beyond that of repair one? and i think making them end it doesn't really fix things does it so i, I would break up that's your answer i see do you remember what i told you before that there is someone who put you here Whatever this place is, isn't it a dream? That's why even the smallest of fears and doubts become magnified here. Interesting. <laughs> Remember that. I hadn't really considered that. That the fact that this is a dream is what enables, you know, such distorted enemies, nightmares, right? These monsters that chase Vincent every night. The actual mechanics behind those being a possibility is the fact that, of course, it's a dream, right? Let's see what people say. Break up with them, yeah. I, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it's that strong of a majority, but but it is. Alright, so on to the next stage. We have a couple stages and then the boss for the night. There are two types of bomb blocks with different blast radii. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. Oh boy. We'll see again. I... I'm pretty not gonna die. inept with the bomb blocks, so I'll do my best, but, you know, no, no promises. We don't really need to concern ourselves with that block for the time being. How do I want to do this? I could make a stairwell here, um, but I'm actually going to push this over this way. Oh, and we actually have quite a bit more to go. So this is going to be a little bit problematic. So I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe build up with our sort of three block wide technique. Something like this. And that should work. It'll be a little bit slower, but I think it'll get the job done reliably. Oh, uh, and I don't want to deal with this. But I guess that's, that's kind of the name of the game right now. This block is going to blow up and it's going to be not good. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to have to go back quite a bit. What should I do, though, is the question. Something like this, maybe? No, because either way, that's going to... You can see that either way, I'm really kind of stuck in that sense. Hmm. I feel like this shouldn't be as complicated as I'm making it. 
Oh, I see what I need to do. I, I've been working on like the whole wrong side of the, the stage for the most part. I think what I'm going to want to do is bring this over this way, and then I should be okay. Actually, nope, that's not going to be okay. We're going to do that. Do that to a broken in a broken manner. <laughs> Readjust our combo meter. And then we should be okay. Yeah, it's just really thinking about which blocks you want to pull and setting up your future pulls in such a way that... Well, you don't have to pull out the bomb blocks in order to do things. So like here, I'm looking up three rows and I'm saying, okay, if I'm going to do my 3x3 three three technique, where do I want to start this so that I'm not actually pulling those bomb blocks out? And I believe that'll be here. Nope, I was wrong. So, yeah, I, I messed that up. I shouldn't have done that. But now, nah. so you can see if I start over here, I'll pull this out, and then I'll be pulling from the left side for the row above me, and what that means is I'll avoid that bomb block, which is what we want to do, because we have quite a few rows of blocks to climb, as you guys can see. Trying to keep an eye on that left side to see if there's anything in particular I should be watching out for. Any coins or anything like that. I technically could try to spider over there soon, but I don't think that pillow is going to warrant going all the way over there. So we'll just keep climbing how we have been. And there's some coins over here. Lovely. And I see a spring... We're gonna want to... Do I really need that? That bell? I don't think so. We'll just go this way for now. And then we can keep on going up. How do I want to do this part? This looks like a setup for the three by... Or like the three wide technique. Although I don't think it's actually really necessary. Wow, plenty of sheep are falling. Having a tough time. Again, I can probably do the technique here as well. Although we'll have to work with that slow block at some point, but that's not the end of the world. I'd rather take the, the less risky route, you know, what I know is going to work for this strategy, even if it's going to eat up a little bit of time, and go with that than, than risk having to really get creative with climbing this wall. Any blocks? Oh, that one's in the middle, so I don't really have much of a choice at that point. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Although I think actually once I pull out this next block, this cracked one... Oh wait, no. I can actually... I should be able to make it work. Granted, it'll be pretty tight. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't want that to happen. What I'm gonna do is pull this over actually, and that should be okay. So there's some of these blocks. We can kind of run away real quick. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, and I see some more spring blocks, which is helpful. I'm going to get these, but I'm just going to get rid of this by pushing it out like that and see how that goes. So we need to bring this over a little bit if we want to use it. And now we're here. How do I want to do this? I'm going to want to do my sort of 3x3 three three technique again, but I need to watch out for those traps, because those would not have spelled well. I can bring this out, I can bring this out as well, and then we're in the clear. What do I want to do up here? Oh, no, I'm pretty safe there. I can get the checkpoint and some coins. Wow, we are, we are really moving along here. Activate all of those. There was an energy drink down there I didn't end up getting, which may come back to haunt me. We'll see. Uh, I don't want to bring out the bomb block. Actually, no, I, yeah, I can just do this by bringing it over to the side, and I should be okay. How do I want to do this? I can pull this block out, and I almost, I almost got caught there. That would have been pretty bad. I can pick up those coins, 
I think I'm going to want to build out this way to the left. Right? Is that what I want to do? I think I'll be okay, actually. I can push this out of the way. Actually, I should push this so that I can pull this this way. I'm going to run out of my combo soon. Come on. And I think we'll have enough room. No, come on. Get out of the way. And we should be in the clear. That bomb is going to go off, but we will be out of here far before that actually blows up. Nice. So we got through that one relatively pain-free. And that was a pretty long wall, too. And now back to the landing for another check-in with the various sheep, and for a question. And it seems we've... oh, it looks pretty crowded today. If you want an item, only have some coins. Tonight's product is... The energy drink allows you to climb two blocks at once. No, I don't know. So, you know, classic chatting with the merchant, but just to be safe. We got our rather aggressive looking friend over here. He's up for talking. I don't want to be turned into juice. I wonder who like was the voice actor for the sheep, right? Just pull somebody from the sheep from the side of the street and you're like, you know, why you to talk about this yummy juice, right? Turning sheep with you know, using wool for flavoring. Yeah, and I want you to do a little bit more maniacally. Yeah, yeah. Add a little bit of a laugh in there. <laughs> it's just like in the credits, they've got, you know, ten lines and it's just talking about turning sheep into yummy juice. <laughs> like clearly they had a lot of fun with it, right? Man, I've got a lot further to go. Uh, hey. Huh? Voice. That hair. <laughs> Never mind. So if it isn't obvious just from recognizing the voice because we've heard it so frequently, or looking at the hat plus the jacket, that is going to be Orlando. Actually, I think I might know you. Never mind. So it turns out our friend Orlando is also in here. It's coming again tonight, isn't it? Hey, what is it for you? A lot of different things. Some kind of baby. Ends. Stuff. <laughs> it does vary person to person, huh? In my case, it's my mother. Coming after me. To take me back. To lock me away. I managed to get away that day, but... I've been running all this time since then, and now... I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. I need to keep running. Hang in there, man. Yeah, we're there to help you out with those techniques, but a little bit more insight into Archie's rather traumatic past. I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. You know, getting locked up and stuff by, by his mom. That's certainly traumatic. Phew. Things are getting tough around here. You can't always rise to every situation. But you can only fall to the level of your training. What kind of training? Like what? Try this one on for size. Ooh, a new technique? Allow me to explain bombs away. After activating a bomb block, quickly move it away from the area. If you push the bomb block off an edge before it explodes, did that seem useful? Interesting. To you? I have you seen this? So one? I used that at one point, but not really super intentionally. Spring. Spring? When you get on a spring block, you can jump upwards five blocks. You can move spring blocks, so use this knowledge to propel your skills to new heights. Appreciate the pun, but yeah, we did that a little bit last stage. All right, what's next? That sounds pretty useful. I expect nothing less of you. Ah, thanks for the thanks for the kind words, everyone. Uh, I've decided to let others help, me, so I can reach true freedom. I'm going to climb for Anna. There we go, Daniel. People fall in love. What? Some people say that you find that romantic spark when you encounter someone who compensates for your own flaws. By doing so, you can find an idealized version of a personality completely opposite to yours through a romantic relationship. 
In a nutshell, you're trying to get rid of the self you hate through romance. Hmm. That's a rather pessimistic it view. Actually makes some sense. I do feel like I'm a better person when I'm with Anna. I'm not empty anymore. I'm not the me who can't do anything. So maybe that's why we fall in love. To accept who we are and live our lives. That makes romance seem awfully trivial. Anna. I mean, I, I somewhat agree with what he's saying, right? You can look for ways to make yourself into a better person through the unity with somebody else who has qualities you don't. But I think it was pretty pessimistic to say we find romance basically to get rid of the selves we hate, right? I'm going to climb. For Anna. And I did want to comment as well that it's really important to be open to letting people help you, right? Recognizing one's own limitations. What is this dream anyway? They say it's about cheating, but I've never cheated. I see. So what's really going on? Have you cheated? Uh, yeah. There's a survey saying that 70% of men in relationships cheat. That makes me a minority. Hmm. But just so you know, 40% of women cheat. It's the truth. Can I get a citation on that? <laughs> Only that many, or let's go with that's a lot. Huh, really? A study claims that people attempt to create relationships resembling those of their pasts. Your childhood relationship with your parents, previous romantic relationships, that's what people are yearning for when they search for love. Okay, so what? Huh? Or, I'm sorry. I mean, I can buy a bit of that, but that 70% yeah. and 40%? That seems pretty unrealistic to me. Maybe I'm just out of the loop, but... Anyway, not cheating is the best course of action. It's, it's the truth. It's a momentary <laughs> thrill, but it costs so much more. You know what I mean? I don't know, the game is struggling a little bit with that, but yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Is Morgan just going to want to review techniques? Review your techniques? Nah, nah, we're, I'm good. Alright guys, but I gotta go. <laughs> Wish you luck. Let's see what's going on with this sheep over right. here. Hey, look! There's light shining through the windows. But can you see what it looks like outside? Wow. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, when you're when you realize you've been climbing for quite some time and now you're actually getting somewhere, right? That's important. Oh, he thinks this is all a game. Wow, I, I never realized that there was potentially unique dialogue for every time that he checks the confessional, every landing. That's cool. Hey. How many times do I have to tell you, sit? Down. <laughs> Mysterious voice is getting pretty upset with Vincent. Vincent just walks in the confessional and is like, hey. <laughs> oh, huh. it seems you're getting used to the machine-based traps as well. Hey, what's up with those sheep that attacked me? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. Whoa. You don't exist in the real world anymore. Serious? It's quite the line. This is the ninth question. Are you able to show all of the contents of your cell phone to your significant other? <laughs> this is actually a great question. I actually would, but this is interesting, actually. I feel Which like one? this is a surprisingly insightful and revealing question, despite seeming so innocuous. This one? I'd also imagine it depends on how long you've been with your partner and how comfortable you are with them with regards to maybe some know. of your hobbies or, or past events or where you've been or wh whatever it may be. Um, so there's there's some leeway Which in here. One? But generally speaking, I feel like if you're in a healthy relationship, you should be comfortable. Though, no partner should feel compelled to have to look through the other person's phone as well. Add that caveat. So, yeah, of course. So that's the one you chose. <laughs> I see. Oh, yes. You're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on, your trials will get longer and longer. Great. But you're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. Yeah, I think that past wall was like 90-something floors, right? Or 90-something levels. That's, that's pretty long. I think we still have another intermediate level or floor before we make it to the next one. Okay, so again, majority saying of course. But actually a bit more than I thought so. Interesting. But yeah, we've got one more intermediate stage and then the final boss stage of this night, of course. And look at that. It almost looks like we can see the top. It's a race against time on this long staircase. 
Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your footing. Interesting. So this one will be a race against time. So we're gonna have to move very quickly. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? So how are we gonna want to do this? Um, it looks like we're gonna have to start off with the stairwell right from the beginning. The question though is how far below can I go? And the answer is not very far. So that was already bad from the beginning. So let's let's undo a little bit, just all the way to the beginning. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I could pull this out. But this is surprisingly challenging for the beginning. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yikes. All right, so I'm just going to retry, actually, and see what I have to work with. I think what I'm going to want to do is push this over like that, maybe? Wow. It's pretty almost unbelievable that I'm already struggling so much with this, right? What's the best way to go about this? I guess, well, I could do that. And then maybe pull this out, and that way I'll have... Wait, nope, that's problematic. Whoa, that sound effect was pretty weird there. So what happens if I... If I do this? Is there any shot at me? Hmm. I could pull this out, and then maybe go to the left to take advantage of... No! That's not good. So... We're literally struggling right off the bat. That did like nothing. Wow. All right, we'll, we'll retry. How am I already struggling? Oh, I should have saved. I should have saved. What if I push that that way? Let a lot of these blocks fall. Maybe that's what I need to do, is get a lot of this to fall, and then I can work with it. Although this doesn't seem to be all that helpful. Because I don't have enough room with at the bottom to properly make a staircase. So we're like going through all of our retries here. Some place I can sort of connect to. No. Is there a spring block somewhere that I'm missing? No. All right. Well, I know our combo is going to run out in a second, but I'm just going to take some time to think about this because it's giving me so much trouble. What the heck, guys? I've got to do some pushing to the right. The sound effect is weird. If I keep going, I'll be able to get some of these blocks to drop. Although, that's pretty problematic. Oh, all of those are like that? Darn, I don't know what to do, guys. Let, let me think about this real quick. So, 
As odd as it is, I figured out a way to get up. And it's primarily by doing this. Kind of shifting those blocks out to the left and creating my own little platform here. But, wow. That was... Oh, and look at the ants. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with that right now. This is already proving to be difficult enough as it is. I think what I'm going to do is try and do something a little bit similar. Yeah, so that worked there. Gotta watch out for those spike blocks. I think they'll want me to do something similar this time, too. I'm gonna need to pull this block here in order to have the space I want to work with. Hmm. No, I don't really have that flexibility right now. What I can do, though, is pull this like that. And I think that will be helpful if I can get some of these to fall. Oh, but I don't even really have... Actually, you know what? Let me do this. So I think that will allow me to get up. No, no, not quite. So we're going to do a nice little undo streak and see where we're at again. How do I want to do this segment? I feel like I've got to do that. And that way I can kind of... Yeah, I don't know, Vincent. And, and look, the clock is absolutely ticking. Oh, and I'm so close. I think that means if I'm able to lower this row by one, I should be okay. So we'll do some undos. I don't know what the undo, like, what impact that has. Also, Vincent's cursing so much because of all these undos. It's pretty funny. So that's where I'm at in terms of the undos. I can push a whole bunch of stuff out like that. And let's see if that is helpful. Hmm. Doesn't seem exceptionally helpful at the moment. Because again, I don't have... Oh, you know what? I could... I do have more room than I thought I did. Because I can go out like that. Oh... So that's definitely worth noting. I can already tell this stage is going to eat up so many of our retries, guys. That's kind of crazy. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? How do I want to do it is the question. So I can pull that out like that. Actually... So that should buy me a little bit of space. I can actually probably afford to make a sta staircase here if the rest of the ground doesn't disappear before I'm done. We'll take that item because I get the impression I'm going to be a little bit more lenient with using items this time around. How do I want to do this? I feel like... What? How do I want to do this, guys? Oh, darn it, that's not good. So if we come up here, I'll grab this item. Do I really want to use the item already, though? I feel like that's such a waste. I can potentially, you know, move some of these blocks. And I think if I do something like this... Actually, no, that's not going to be incredibly helpful. Because now I don't have anywhere to go. So we'll do some undos here to give us ourselves a little bit more time to work with this. What's the way out of here? I feel like it's creating a sort of spider situation. But I need to have a high enough up... I don't know, um... Hmm. Can't die here. Can't die here. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, Vincent. <laughs> I'm working on it, man. But it's looking pretty grim. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Maybe some of you can already see the solution. But I certainly don't. <laughs> no doubt about that. I can pull this out and give myself a little bit more of a base, I guess. But I don't know how helpful that will actually be. Maybe it'll actually be helpful in that I can pull this out and... Oh, I still don't have enough space. So... That offered a, at least a little bit of insight into what I can do to offer myself a little bit more leeway. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Vincent, but it's looking pretty grim if you ask me. Maybe... What do I want to do? I like want to be able to hold this block out so those other ones fall, but that took way too much time to even set up. All the undos. You get an undo, I get an undo, we all get undos. Nope, that's not good. Yeah, I mean, all I can really think of is maybe pulling this out to give myself a little bit more of a base there, but even then, I don't think that's entirely helpful. Right, like, I'm not super convinced. Maybe I can pull this out, but again, oh man, this this might be it. But that's totally a right a race against the the clock. What? No. Oh, I have enough time. Oh wait, I can't move that one. So what do I do here? How's this? I mean, that's all I can think of at the moment, and I highly doubt that's the intended route per se, but. Again, it's all I can really think of at the moment, so that's what we're going to work with for now. How am I supposed to do this? I guess I can actually pull these out, so maybe that will be helpful. Aw, oh, man. I can sort of... Wait a minute. Which block did I just pull? I wanted to pull this out like that. And then... How did I end up pulling... Something is not how I anticipated it to go. Something is amiss. Oh, you know what? Maybe... I just had an idea, a very, what might be strange idea, but I think it'll work, actually. I think I can bridge across here and then spider. Wow, that's, that's creative, is what that is. So we've got some gold to get. Need to be extra careful with it, because, oh no! Okay, so that's problematic. Wait, where am I now? Is that really the last thing that I, that I did? Is that what my undo should be? So I can just completely avoid the bomb block there, like do like doing that. But um, should be all right. Now, how can I climb up here? I can get this gold the same way I've been getting the other things. Just kind of spidering in there, and we're at a checkpoint. But I can't imagine we're even that far along in the, the puzzle. Oh, actually, we can hear the bells, which is really nice. Now, I can... I'll use this. Get rid of the ant. I don't want to worry about it right now. 
got it. So we've kind of had He's not human. pretty straightforward bits well, recently. But this is where they're gonna throw it all at us. How are we gonna work with this? I feel like I'm gonna need to do some sort of setup. Taking advantage of the, the broken undo counter. If I do this, I think I'll be okay. I can make a stairwell on this side, and it looks like there's some gold on the other side that we'll want to get before we go up any further. But I think we're, we're moving along pretty nicely. What do we have here? Huh. What do I want to do with this? I think I'm going to need to sort of build a staircase by pushing a whole bunch of stuff over this way. It's going to be pretty odd, but I think it'll work. Oh wait, what? That's not what I wanted to happen. I got to come over here. I'm actually going to push one of these off so that I can bring this over here. And then I can sort of make this work, I guess? Uh oh. That was not ideal, but I think it'll actually be okay. Wow. So, definitely a tough climb. Especially the beginning. I felt like the second half, so much of the path was already created for us. But some of those sort of like diamond structures, it all revolved around bringing some of those blocks out and then to the outside so you can kind of spider to the edges. But wow, that was, that was tough. And you'll notice our safety bonus is quite a bit smaller there because we didn't, we weren't exactly moving the quickest. Wow, that was, that was a tough one. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's actually reasonable to call it there. Because we do have one big boss ahead of us who could potentially be an incredibly difficult enemy. Let's, let's talk with our friends here first. Wait, there's more? I'm gonna throw my back out. I'm glad you made it up all right. It's like my hands are just moving on their own now. I don't know how I got so good at climbing this stuff. It's all that Rapunzel, Orlando. It's all that Rapunzel. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The black cube creates a dark block in front of you. Nah, I'm good. Huh? You think you're window shopping? Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you'll notice as well in this scenery, we can see outside, but we don't have those nice stained glass windows like before. We have these more gear-like structures. Mm. It's up above. I can feel it. I can tell. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of this life of running. Hey, hey. Mother's hands. Always oh, so cold. So cold. She never let me wear clothes. Instead of dragging myself through hell. Maybe it's better just to die here. Yikes. So it sounds like he had some some sexual abuse from his mother. Come on, don't think like that. Oh, of course it is. What? Fuck, you don't know anything. I'm a bad man. I hurt women, my boss, everyone. I, I just... I just want a normal life. See? You want to live. I'll climb. I'll climb. Like there's no tomorrow. Aw, oh, yeah. Survive. We'll meet again. Keep up the, the good work, Archie. Why is mother coming back now? Hey, who else do we want to talk to? We got Morgan. Wait, why are you so, all the way over here? I think the big one is coming up. Maybe I'm at the end of my rope. The big one? For me, it's my wife, Sophie. I as good as killed her anyway. She has every right to be angry with me. If she's the one who kills me, then I don't mind. Are you really going to give up here? giving up? Oh, right. I knew I recognized you. You're the one from the bar. Oh yeah. I pull myself together if I told you that much. All right. I'll go have a chat with Sophie. Nice. Let's go have a chat. Talk it out. Climb like Sophie. crazy. I... Everybody's kind of coming to terms with the fact that they're going up against the the big boss soon. Oh, no. Their nightmare. Hey, can you talk with us? You're the best climber out of anyone here. It's nice of you. Appreciate the compliments. 
Do you feel it? It will be coming soon. For me. It's myself. It's me in doll form. With holes for my eyes, ears, nose, mouth. And it doesn't even chase me. It's a version of me who doesn't do anything. Who can't do anything. I would rather fall into oblivion than have to see that. Oh, come on. Anyway, let's try and come up with some techniques. Why don't we exchange some information? That sounds like a pretty creepy, uh, pretty creepy thing to have chasing you. So we're gonna join the meeting. Sure. Here's something that I came up with. Ooh, what'd you come up with, Daniel? Allow me to explain Inazuma. Oof, Inazuma. <laughs> when you're climbing a flat wall with three stones in a row, use the pulling out blocks and hanging techniques. If you repeat the same pattern, you can climb in a zigzag without... So this is my bread and butter, as you guys are very familiar with at this point. Perhaps you already figured that one out, then. Oh, hey, maybe this is related to your technique. This is a variation of Inazuma. You can climb flat walls with four stones in a row in the same way. The technique lies in moving the stone to the side of the wall you'd like to travel up, and creating a stepping stone. I see. Interesting. Something. Yes, what an elegant move. I haven't really really used that one at all, so that'll be one I'll try to incorporate into my climbs. Are you going to devise some more techniques? Uh, sure. Sure. Here's something that I came up with. Is it going to be something new? No, it's not. Okay. If you were... I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything, but... Yeah, I'll have to give it a this look. Whenever a I notice the four-block-wide wall, the I'll try to use this for the sake of practice. You're quite yes, what an elf. What do you have to say, Justin? Hello. This guy's come up with several techniques. It proves what kind of man he is. They're not new, but they're all logical and useful. That's the mind of a leader. I guess my business experience is paying off. It really does feel good to help out others. Aw, that's good to hear. I should get going soon. Who are you? Damn it. Hey, it's you again. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey, shut up. I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. Been chased around by weird monsters and that. Well, go. There's another big one waiting to greet you tonight. <sighs> you sound like such a fun person to talk with. I can't see his face. I to think of it. I don't even know his name. <laughs> That's true. Well, go. There's a... All right, so I do think we're going to call it here and say in the next episode we'll find out what happens after the sixth night when we finally climb this last stage of the clock tower. These walls have been getting quite a bit more difficult, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. Hopefully some of you guys enjoy that. I know a lot of people that really enjoy this game really love the story and are you know clinging to their computers, their controllers to try to figure out what's going to happen next, watch that next cutscene, etc. Um, and, and maybe see the puzzles as filler-esque content, but they are really fun to at least play, and I hope those of you that are watching also enjoy trying to figure out what would be a good way of climbing the walls as I'm doing so myself. If not, I totally get it, and it's, it's fair to just really look forward to the story segments, but um, either way, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. But until that episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.